Greetings, my unique Aryans and others. Uh, this is Soul, Intuitive Tarot for Unique Souls. This is going to be a general reading for my unique Aryans and others for the week of August 10th to the 16th, 2015. Uh, welcome to my channel, first and foremost. And also, I want to thank my new subscribers and also um, my followers and my old subscribers as well I appreciate all the love and support that i continue to receive on my channel and for the work that i do also um i just want to say that i will have a link in the description box uh, for anyone who is interested in obtaining a reading with me uh, you can click on the link and go to my website and um see what i have available in terms of uh readings so i'm gonna just jump right in here and not waste any time what i what i'm picking up from uh what i feel energy wise for my uh unique Aryans and others for this week of august 10th to the 16th we have here the knight of swords and the upright now, this is a female that's depicting the Knight of Swords, but that doesn't matter because this reading is for males and females. But with the Knight of Swords, I'm feeling for the energy for uh, my Aries for the week of August 10th to the 16th that some of you are going to be taking charge of making decisions that personally affect you. I feel that some of you are going to make rapid decisions, um, whatever area that you're affected uh, by. I think the energy for the week for you is going to be about decision making, taking charge of your life. Uh, and you're going to come to, you know, um, using your intellect and clear thinking in those decision making. Uh, but I feel that for some of you are going to be dealing with a lot of um, decisions. And this could re, you know, relate to a relationship. It could relate to, you know, family uh, situations. It could relate to, you know, job situations. Uh, but I feel that for some of you, the energy is going to be about taking charge of making uh, decisions that uh, suit your best interest and purpose. In your recent past, we had the four of wands in the upright. And the Four of Wands is all about stability and, you know, uh, having a happy family life. And for some of you, I feel that um, some of my Aries are involved in a relationship um, that is, you know, stable and feeling, you know, um, very happy and content at this time. I also feel that for some of you, um, have either purchased a new home or you've moved to like a condo or apartment. So, and that's good. Uh, even if the four of wands was in the reverse, it would still be a um, good card to have. It's all about just, you know, being around family, feeling secure within the structure of a home or apartment, condo, wherever your living arrangements uh, are. And uh, just feeling overall good about, um, yourself and the people you share your life with uh, also too i feel that uh with the four of wands it's um letting me know past energy because it's in your past i'm picking up that some of you have you know uh, you know looking for a new home and may have uh found the place that you wanted to uh, uh live or the, the house that you were hoping to get uh, as far as, you know, like an apartment or a condo, some of you moved into that as well. Uh, I'm going back from, you know, two, three weeks to uh, two, three months for some of this energy that I'm picking up. And so that's a good thing. And uh, again, relationship wise, I think that for the ones who are in relationships, you feel more uh, stable and you feel happy and content within that relationship. So that's good. Uh, in your middle position going into the week, we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, three of Pentacles in reverse is telling me that some of you 
Aries out there right now are sort of like not happy about your job, possibly. I feel that there might be some movement or shifting around with employees, coworkers. And also, I'm related to the Knight of uh, Swords when I said that some of you are going to be making some rapid decisions that could be related to a work situation as well. So, um, and also because, you know, I always say when I get to Three of Pentacles that some of you are dealing with uh, a situation um, on the romantic side, uh, possibly with someone that you currently work with either it's you or someone who um is attracted to you but because it's in the reverse there's some sort of discord um taking place within that relationship so this is what i'm being fed to say and like i said before and i always say that this is just a general reading it's going to affect someone but it's not going to affect everyone so i feel that for some of my aries are dealing with a um work related situation romantic work related situation and that situation is not doing too well also uh three of pentacles i feel for some of you are sort of like uh feeling discontent about the work that you do or if it's you know um a feeling of you know not just being happy uh, about your work or not even wanting to be there. I think just going into the middle of the week is just some of you are just, you know, ready to dash off and, and, and have some fun. So it's not really bad for some of you, but I feel that, uh, for others, um, I'm picking up this energy. And so at the uh, end of the week, uh, we have the two of swords and the upright and see it tying it in with the knight of swords some of you, I feel, some of my Aries, I feel, are at a crossroads. Uh, this could be related to a job situation that you're not happy about. And you may have been contemplating or thinking about, you know, looking for another job that is more satisfying and that has more money or that pays more money. And then also, too, I feel that um, in tying it to a relationship, some of you are at a crossroads and trying to make a decision with the Knight of Swords uh, about, you know, a, a, a relationship that you may be involved uh, with or in. And but what you're doing here with the Two of Swords, if you can see, you're holding on tight to that decision. But what's going to change that, even though this is the outcome uh, card for you is the overall theme of the Knight of Swords where you're going to make a decision and it's going to be a rapid one um, whatever it is that's related to you whether it's a, a relationship or if it's a job um, that you're considering about you know uh, getting out of and looking for another uh, job that is more satisfying um, but right now I think that some of you will still have, you know, like you have this woman has blinders on. She has a blindfold on. So you're not seeing what's before you. And this is why um, I feel that some of you are still at a crossroads. Um, but you, you will be um, making a decision. However, the decision that uh, you have to make during this week, uh, you will come to some sort of uh, clear thinking and intellectual um decision that best suits your purpose and your interests regarding whatever area that you need to make a decision about so this is really not really a bad card to have i just feel that for some of you um carrying out to the further week that you will still be at a crossroads and it could relate to if you've made the right decision um for some of you uh, whether it's a you know regarding a relationship or a possible um, job move or looking for another job, whatever situation that applies to you. This is why this card is here for some of you. So it's not really a bad week um, from what I feel and what I'm passing on to you um, for August 10th to the 16th. So the spiritual message card that I have chosen for you is 
have fun. And on this card it says stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. And so when they speak of the analytical mind, and I just said that some of you are going to be going into making some rapid, fast decisions. Well, the swords are always about mental activity. And uh, we have the two of swords, so that is exactly what I'm saying. And I know that for some of my uh, Aries, um, you know, you're all about um, having fun and, and, and a good time. As long as that fun that you have is not, uh, you know, dangerous to yourself and others. So the, the spirit message card is, is here to say just, you know, whatever that you're dealing with during this upcoming week and dealing with um, having to make some decisions that are going to come rapid for some of you. Uh, after that, just, you know, go out and have some fun. Uh, whether it's with your family, uh, you know, your partner, you know, your friends, whatever. Just have some fun and whatever you had to decide on and you made your decision, leave it behind and just move forward. So uh, this is not a bad week. Like I said before, it's actually a, I'm feeling the energy of a pretty good week. I just feel that uh, uh, some of you. Um, have a lot of decisions to make and they're going to come in rapidly uh, whatever area it applies to you uh, that's going on in your life so that's what I have for my unique Aryans and others for the week of August 10th to the 16th 2015 uh, appreciate uh, you coming to my channel please like share subscribe comment dislike doesn't matter uh, take it all Anyway, I'm wishing uh, my unique Aryans and others a very safe but blessed week. Until next week, um, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.